Hey y'all, it's me Zoe here at Zoe's World and I have got another haul for you guys. I have got a Dollar Tree and a Goodwill haul today. Um, I did also get a Timu order in, but I just got home. It was on my porch, so it's going to be in the next video coming up. All right, before we get started, I wanted to jump on here and tell y'all a few things. First thing is, I wanted to tell Sandy, the one who sent me this, I believe it was Sandy, I'm nearly positive. I love this new wallet and it is so fabulous with this bag that I got from Goodwill that I am absolutely loving and using. So thank you very much for that gift. I so appreciate it. Okay, y'all. Um, It has been a little bit of a crazy morning and day. It's very cloudy here and I am losing light. So I'm going to try to to get moving pretty quickly. But I just literally pulled in the driveway. Um, I'm looking like a hot mess express. I... Uh, got up this morning and my face was all broke out so I was like no no makeup I did my skincare and anytime that happens I just leave makeup off for a few days to try to let it clear up but I was on the phone with the post office all morning and on the computer with looking at stuff on the post office tracking numbers and such I told you guys about this in yesterday's video if you missed it been having some issues with shipping um from my current location not really issues it's going out but it's like taking forever and when I look at the tracking it's like telling me it's moving through the network or something and then when I look at the dates the dates are all off like um one of you guys had emailed me and said that it shipped out on the first well one the post office is not even open on the first and I worked on the first so I don't know how it could have shipped out that day <laughs> but, but anyway um it is coming it seems like I'm going to give it until this next week, and if I see where some of the packages have not moved, I'm just going to wrap some more up and ship them out again because I want to make sure you guys get all your stuff. So if you guys will continue to email me or comment however you want to do it and let me know if you do receive something, that would be great. All right, so let's jump right into this haul because I got quite a bit of stuff, and um, like I said, it's been a crazy day and I'm losing light, so I want to be able to show this stuff to you. Um, I went by my, I first went to Goodwill because I had a return to take back. It didn't work out. And so while I was there, I did find a few things. So I'll show you that stuff first. So the very first item I picked up, it is a tea and saucer set. They do have it like put together. It's really pretty floral pattern. I love with the blue in it. And they always do their cups and saucers like this that match together. It says it's truly tasteful, fine china, china on the bottom of it. Um, but I paid $2.83 for this. And so I got this because if y'all remember earlier this year, we were going to do a witch's tea fundraiser. Um, we didn't get to do that. My friend actually um, moved her shop to a different location, um, shut that one down. But... Um, I'm still planning on at some point doing a witch's tea, whether it's a fundraiser or whatever. So I'm going to start collecting these tea sets if I can find matching sets like this. So $2.83, I was fine with paying that for what I'm needing it for. So that's the first one I've collected for the witch's tea. I want to have all different patterns. I think that's that'll be a lot of fun. Um, next thing I picked up, this was a dollar. Well, the price tag has moved off of a dollar 33, no, 34. It says $1.34. And this is just a mug, and it says Oldsmobile Runabout 1903. So my dad is a car guy. He loves car stuff, but his dad liked all these old-time kind of cars, and he has uh, his dad's collection of stuff. When I see stuff like this, I go ahead and pick it up for my dad. So I just got this for him to add to his mugs in his kitchen. I'll take the tag off of it, clean it up, and take that over to him next time I'm that direction. Got that for him. And it's a, it's a nice mug, I think. I mean, it's really well made. It's a, it's a heavy, heavy mug. So, got that for him. And next thing I got, y'all know I collect the Mexican pottery. Love it, love it, love it. This was $4.67. The price is still in. I'm going to take the price out just so you guys can see the pattern. But this is that Talavera Mexican pottery that I am in love with. It's my favorite Mexican pottery. It's even got this on the bottom. I love all the bright colors. It says lead-free hand-painted in Mexico for terra 
Serafino. I could be saying that wrong. But I just think this is beautiful. So I got that and it was $4.67. I don't know if you guys can see that. And like I said, I will pay up sometimes for stuff just because if it's something I really want. This next thing is a wallet. It's by the brand Sack Roots. It was $2.51. There's the price tag on it. And I just love these little printed floral wristlets. If you want to just run in and do something, you can put your cell phone here. It's got a place back here, a pocket back here, and then all your internal pockets. I just think these are the greatest wallets, and they really hold up. And they very much remind me of, like, Fossil. But this is the Sack Roots brand. So I picked that up. And that is everything that I got from the Goodwill today. And I took the one item back. Okay, y'all, are you ready for this Dollar Tree haul? Because it is a lot of stuff. <laughs> so I wanted to go to the other Dollar Tree. I told you guys I was going to go to a different one, not close to my hometown. But it ended up, I did end up going to the one in Centralia where I work. Because of getting a late start, um, being on the phone all morning, trying to figure out what's going on. With the shipping, I went ahead and just did my local store to see if they get, got the rest of their stuff out yet. They did not. They had boxes everywhere, y'all. But they still had quite a bit of stuff put out. So I'll go ahead and show you what I did get. So this time, I showed you guys some of the Valentines and Easter I found last time. And y'all, I'm glad I bought the few things I did because their Easter and Valentines in that plus section was cleared out already. Okay, so today when I went in, they had stickers. Y'all know I'm sticker crazy. This one is my favorite. I love all these, what looks like conversation hearts. So I got this one. I actually got two of that one because I love it so much. For my, you know, scrapbooking, junk journaling, planner. Got this one. And it just has a bunch of fun little different things. I loved it because of the dog. Had to have it. Got that one. And then this one is cute. It's got all kinds of little love bears on it. Really cute. And the rainbows and the hearts. I just think it's so cute for Valentine's Day. So those are the stickers I got today that I found that they had out. They didn't have out last time. So they're slowly getting it all out. Then, y'all, do you remember the ornaments they had at Christmas time that you could sign your name on? Like with a Sharpie marker or whatever. Well, they had those out today for Valentine's Day trees. So I got the cupcakes, and you can just put a name right here, and I think that's going to be Darling. I got these, and even if you don't use them on a Valentine's Day tree, this would be cute added as a, on a gift basket as a name tag kind of thing, um, on any kind of gift bag. So the cupcakes. Then the letter, which I think is totally adorable. So you get the two ornaments for the $1.25. This one, I have to say, is probably my favorite. And then there was a third one. I don't know. I really love this one, too. Ice cream cones. But I think that's just a cute idea, being able to put, you know, even if you did a tree, all your family members' names on there, just like you would at Christmas time. So I think that's adorable. But I do think there's so many uses for these. So I got those. Then they had the Guru. Hyd Hydromate Electrolyte Powder. It's two packets in here for $1.25. And this is actually for kids. This is a great flavor. But I actually got this for my friend Jamie. No, she's not a kid. But she does not drink enough. Like, she's always dehydrated. And I thought, you know, if it's for a kid, it'll be fine for an adult for sure. So I thought I'd just get it for her to try it and see what she thinks. Then, y'all, they did have these last time I was there, and I kind of hem hawed around debating on whether I wanted them or not. I love marshmallows. I know most people either love them or they hate them. I love marshmallows, and I didn't get these last time because I was like, do I really need those? I'm going to eat all of them because Jack, he will add marshmallows to, like, his hot chocolate and that, but I didn't know if he would use these or not. But today I saw them again, and I was like, I really do want those. So I went ahead and got them, and they're just so pretty and fun for Valentine's Day. 
And y'all, I've been drinking so much hot chocolate lately because it's starting to get cold here. And I'm the kind of person where I love hot tea. I love hot chocolate. I'm not a hot coffee drinker, although I am finding out that I do like iced coffee. Um, probably because it doesn't taste like coffee. But um, I don't like that stuff when it's warm. I, I want it when it's cool outside kind of thing. And here lately, it's getting colder here. Right now, it's pretty chilly. I think it was like 30... Six, I think it said. So it's kind of cold right now, but not like freezing or anything yet. But it's getting chilly. Picked up these. They had these today. You get a the expiration date is March 9th of 2024, and it's the Lance Toasty Sandwich Crackers. I love the peanut butter ones. They're my favorite. Um, and I'm trying to see how many packs you get in here. I bought these before. Oh, six packs. Six packs of four. Someone is trying to call me. But you get those. And I got those to just put in my cabinet at work. So that um, I have those to snack on when I'm at my job. Then, y'all, I've showed you these before. I love them. Haven't been eating a ton of them lately, but seen them and had to pick them up again a snack for my work cabinet it's like I go in these spurts where I'll eat a bunch of stuff out of that cabinet and then it'll be sitting there for months I have to have other people eating it so that I'm not wasting it and then I'll go in a spurt again where I'll want it again so I picked those up for my work then I found this um woodpecker dough no melt for your round for your round feeding it says it attracts a wide variety of birds. We have one of those little cage things there that you put this inside of. And for $1.25, I thought, I'm going to go ahead and get that. We actually have a lot of woodpeckers in our yard where we live. And we see them. And y'all, I know you're going to think I'm crazy. But I never really realized that woodpeckers were like a real thing. And you guys are going to be like, Zoe, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but I never had seen a woodpecker. Like, other than the cartoon, I never. I never seen a woodpecker. And so when we moved out here to the country, one day I kept hearing it and hearing it. And I went outside and, and I, I told my husband, I said, there's this bird and it just is, is like pecking away at the tree. <laughs> he was like, it's a woodpecker. And I'm like, really? And so that just shows you how clueless I am. But y'all can make fun of me. It's okay. But I did not know that. And so, you know, you learn something all the time. But since we've lived here, that was when we first moved here. We've been here about eight years. And since we've moved here, I've seen tons of them. And I absolutely love them. <laughs> so when I saw that food, I was like, my woodpeckers have to have this. So if they like it, I'm probably going to go get some more if there's still any left at the Dollar Tree. Then I use these every year. Um, I put all my bills that I pay each month and all of my anything that I might need to give to my accountant for my tax time. So I got two of these, one for each month for the 12 month year. And I just put the month on the front of it, January, February, so on each month. And I just put all of my, once I pay my electric bill, I write the date and everything, how I paid it, whatever. And I stash it in here and so on and receipts and things like that, that I might need. So I got two of those because they come six in a pack. Okay, let me go ahead and put all this stuff back in this one bag, and then we'll go on to the next bag. I think I've got four or five bags total. Alrighty. Next bag. This one I don't think has as many items in it. So I saw these. This is like the off-brand. I'm assuming it's maybe Dollar Tree brand. I don't know that for sure, but... It, it's super stack, and it's chili and lime, and that just sounded good, so I went ahead and got this to try out this time. So I don't know if I'll leave these here at the house or if I'll take them to work. One of the two. One of the two. We don't have a lot of, I shouldn't say that, we have tons of snacks, but when I'm home, I don't personally do a lot of snacking unless I sit and watch a movie, and, and most of the time I'm having popcorn when that's going on. Because I'm so busy, I don't really have time to think about eating a bunch of snacks where when I'm at work I get bored and that's when I usually want a snack. I got a can of these. 
I never even knew I liked these since I've been an adult. I liked them as a kid, but then I think there was a few years I was like, no, I don't want any of that stuff. But I've tried them here and there recently, and so I they're great when I don't want to fix something to take to work. This is a quick thing I can take to work and not have to worry about making a sandwich or leftovers or whatever for lunch. So that's all that was in that bag. Okay. Next bag, I think y'all are going to love this one. Okay, y'all, you know I have bought all these gnomes this past year. You guys have been watching the hauls, of all those of you who have been here a minute. And you guys maybe will remember, I do not because I buy so much stuff. But I feel like I bought gnomes last Valentine's Day. When I went there today, they had like six different gnomes, the big gnomes. But, and I had four of them in my cart. And as I, you know, I've told you guys I'm trying to be more intentional about what I'm buying. And I'm like... I need to get all my Valentine stuff out so I can see what I have purchased and what I haven't. Because, you know, Dollar Tree does come out with the same stuff sometimes every year. So, but I know also how quick things go. So I had to bite the bullet and go ahead and buy, I bought two of them. I did refrain. I didn't buy all four. But they're just so stinking cute. So I got this one here. I love the sweater style hat. Here. Just so cute. So the Valentine's Gnome, this is the big one. This is not like the miniatures that I just bought recently. And then, the girl. So cute. Fuchsia's my favorite color, sequins. Now, they did have the dark colored gnomes that had plaid and different ones. And I so wanted those too, but I feel like I might have already bought them. They're so familiar to me. So... I need to get my stuff out and see what I bought. And if I didn't get them, I might have to go back. But I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to be more intentional about what I'm buying. But I just had to buy at least two of these today. So they were so stinking cute. Okay. I was actually messaging my friend Jamie. I'm like, should I get these? Did I get these last year? She can usually remember. I cannot. So then I got this ribbon. The hearts. I got this for my junk journaling. Love, love, love this ribbon. I think it's so cute. I love that it's got the red, the pink, and the white hearts on it. And then I also got, this kind of looks like burlap-y with just the red hearts, which I love anything burlap. So I think that's going to be really cute. And the red hearts, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but they are glittery. Really pretty. So I picked that up. And there's 12 foot on these rolls, so that's quite a bit that you're going to get to use for crafting. Then I am trying to be very conscious about my um, preparedness, so to speak. And so that everything from like my pantry, having shelf stable things to my medicine cabinet kind of thing. And even my emergency kit in the car. So every time I go, I try to buy something if I see something that I can use in those type of areas. So I got this elastic support bandage. Three inches, it says wide. And it, it's in pink. It had all different colors, but, you know, if they had pink, I was getting pink. It's 5.4 yards for the dollar twenty-five. So I picked that up to go in my med medicine stuff. Then, y'all, they had the, I call them the craft cards. They're the cards that are super nice that you're paying the actual, I think, a dollar for or a dollar twenty-five. I'm not sure. But this is a love meter. I think it's so Fabulous. And I actually got this to junk journal with because, um, you know, you can cut all this out and put it on, in your junk journal. So I got the love meter card. It says, Happy Valentine's Day to my one true love. I think it's totally cute. And Jack will get a fabulous card. He always does every year and he gets me one every year. But these cards are not for him. These cards are for my journaling. And then I got this one. So, my husband is a pizza junkie. He loves, loves, loves pizza. It's like his favorite food. And I saw this card and I had to get it. So, I don't know if it'll be a card he ends up getting or if it'll be for my junk journaling. In my mind, it's for my junk journaling. One year for Valentine's Day, we went to a local pizza place that actually did heart-shaped pizzas. They have since left our area, so we haven't done it since then. But we had the best Valentine's Day that year. And I thought, ooh, if we could do that again this year, that would be great. Y'all can tell we're not very fancy. 
Okay, this next thing, y'all, I've showed you this one of the hauls when I got the Valentine's Day and the Easter stuff recently, but I already ate it. It is so delicious. It is the cotton candy, and it's three different flavors. Y'all, this is delicious. It um, comes with blue raspberry and then just cotton candy flavor and watermelon. And every bit of it was fabulous, so I had to get another one because, you know, I want to eat some more. Okay. <laughs> and that is it in that bag. Put this stuff back in here, and then we will go to the next one. Y'all have to tell me in the comments, do you guys remember what Valentine's gnomes I got last year? I know I've gotten gnomes for, like, every holiday, but I don't know if I got... I just can't remember. Okay. This is the final and last Dollar Tree bag. So they had these today. It's the Cheez-Its Snapped, Cheesy, Thin, and Crispy. It's the double cheese. I got these. And you get, these are a three-pack for the Dollar Twenty-Five. So I actually got two of these. Because I think these are just nice to snack. Snack on when you want something to go with a sandwich or whatever. And then I got this box of the cream cheese and chives. These are Jamie's favorite. I picked these up for her to take to work. I'll take them to work and give them to her. And then I got two bags of the Gardettos. Because y'all know these are my favorite like snack, snacky chips one of, one of my favorites i got those for work y'all did can you tell that when i was in dollar tree i was hungry because i wanted to buy everything there to eat crazy so then um i needed to get tea i do make tea sometimes and then other times i but most of the time i'm buying it lately in the jugs and we had to go out to get tea too and so I told Jack, I said, you know, I said, it's so late in the day. We've not had lunch. We did eat breakfast at home. Jack actually fried us egg sandwiches. Um, but we had not eaten yet. I had dinner on in the crock pot for tonight. We're going to have some other pork chops. But um, I got to make the sides yet. But um, we had dinner cooking, but we hadn't eaten any lunch. And it was, you know, because we had like a later breakfast. And so we, it was getting later in the day like after three o'clock. So, um, we stopped at McDonald's cause I'm trying to collect those squishmallows from the happy meal kits or happy meals, the kids ones. Well, I got, we stopped there and got that. So I got an actual soda, a Coke, which I don't do real often. And I got my happy meal. And so, you know, you guys, I told you in the last one that I got their blind bag. So you don't know which one you're getting. So we're going to open this up to see which one I got this time. See if it's the same one. Last one that I got, the first one, it was Fifi. So we'll see if this is Fifi again or if it's something different. Oh, yay, it's something different. This one's name is Sunny. Look how cute it is. It's got little, it's got little antennas. Can you guys see it? It's a little bee, it looks like. That is so cute. Now, they all have a little personality. They have a little card on here. It says, Sunny has a cool skill. She can sense the weather. Want to know if it's going to rain? Ask Sunny. She might even send you her Happy Days playlist. That is so adorable. I love Sunny. So cute. So that's going to be added to my Squishmallow collection. I don't go to McDonald's very often, so it's going to be hard for me to get all these, but I'm going to try. So... <laughs> I'll have to tell Jamie. She gets a happy meal now and again. But that was what was in my blind bag from McDonald's lunch today. Okay, y'all. That is it for today's haul. Um, I know it wasn't a ton. Like I said, my stores are still putting out tons of stuff. They did have a whole lot of stuff that I did not choose because I'm trying to be more intentional about my spending. Mainly because of all the hauling we're going to have to do when we move here. Um... We've already been talking about more and more that we need to get rid of. So um, I'm trying to be more intentional about what I'm buying. But we, today when I went, there was like still tons of Christmas out that they've got marked down. Um, I didn't need any more Christmas. I didn't buy any of that. 
They had tons of the beautiful um, signs, including the, the kissing booth one that I wanted. I wanted the one that went this horizontally. They had the vertically one today. And they had the horizontal one last time. They've already sold out of it. I didn't buy it. Because their signs are so fabulous, but they're very thin. And, I mean, you'd be very careful with them or they get dinged up and ruined. And I thought, if I have to haul that in a move, they just may not make it. So, I didn't buy it. I've noticed they have had it out the last few years. So, I'm sure next year they're probably going to have it again because it's very popular. Um, but they had some other beautiful signs. Some beautiful, um, the yard stakes. Again, they had metal ones that had the trucks. And I would have filmed all this for you guys, but this store was packed. I cannot believe for what day of the week it is. And I was there, you know, at a weird time, like 1, 1 30 or something. Um, I couldn't believe just how busy they were. I mean, it was packed in that store. And they had workers everywhere trying to get merchandise out. I mean, it was like a zoo in there. So... I was lucky to find what I found just because there were so many people there and I couldn't film anything inside today because there's just, there's just too many people everywhere, workers and customers and everything. So hopefully that means that they're getting more and more out and there'll be more and more for me to buy that is not old stuff that I've already purchased. So I've seen some other people hauling like the teddy bear glass jars with the lid they did have those. Um, I didn't get them. I'm sure you guys who watch the hauls have seen those. I didn't get it because it's not something I would use. Um, they had the jars with the heart lids. I hauled that last year. If you guys remember, I hauled it um, one of my Dollar Tree hauls last year during Valentine's Day. So a lot of stuff that I've seen out are stuff that they have had last year. Now the, the bonus stuff, all brand new. I mean, phenomenal. And like I said, they've already sold out of most of what they put out um, already at my local store. So I'm hoping to see more and more stuff coming. Even the Easter stuff was selling out already. I just couldn't even believe it. It's crazy. Um, but that just shows you that if you see something that you want at Dollar Tree, you better get it right then because it's going to be gone. Now, I did see some beautiful heart soaps and... Um, some kind of girly skincare sets and stuff like that that was there. But it was nothing that I haven't either gotten before or that I could use right now. And I don't want to have to pack up soaps kind of thing. So um, I didn't get any of that stuff for that reason. So I am trying to be more intentional. Even though, you know, I've got four, what is it, four or five bags here. <laughs> so I'm not being too intentional. But a lot of this stuff is food and stuff that we can use. I didn't buy too terrible, my, terribly many things that I will have to pack up. But I did want to show you the few things I did find in case you want to go out to your stores and get something. I did get a small Timu bag in. I mean, not too small, but a small Timu bag in today. So it's going to be on the next haul. I am off tomorrow. However, tomorrow is going to be a full-on paint day. We're trying to get this one room completely done. So I don't know that I'm going to do a haul tomorrow. It may have to wait until my next set of days off. And I'm working Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this week. So um, I don't know that you'll see this tomorrow. It might not be, like I said, until next week sometime. As far as all the stuff I've been shipping out to people, I'm not sure what's going on. I I, uh, I talked to the post office. Um, she said it didn't make sense to her. Um, I have since sent out, since I did the 12 Days of Christmas, I've sent out a bunch of friend mail packages. These were packages that... I have had since October, um, and I've just been sending out a few at a time simply because they were things I wanted to do for you guys, but the postage is just, for that many, it was a lot of packages. When I say a lot, it was probably, total, I've probably shipped already 50 packages, and that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> So on average, on the low end, they're like five bucks. On the high end, they're like $22, depending on what I'm shipping is how it's been running. So I've been doing a few packages at a time. And so um, one of you guys messaged me or commented was like, hey, I got your, your package, your friend mail, and it said, happy Halloween. I apologize for that because I had all these done back in October. And then when I went and started shipping things, 
I was really shocked at just how expensive the shipping was. And so I was still sending them out. I was like, I've already got these already for my people. They're going out, but I'll just have to do a few at a time. And because there were so many, I've just been doing a few at a time. So if you get something like that from me, that's what it is. Um, I completely forgot that I had put cards in there with them. Um, and then some of the new ones I didn't put cards in. I just dropped stuff in them and, and shipped them out. But I have been shipping out stuff last week and this week, but that was friend mail. That wasn't 12 days of Christmas stuff. That stuff has already been shipped. So some of you have gotten friend mail before the 12 days of Christmas stuff. So I'm very confused by that. And so I don't know what's going on. And they can't seem to give me any rhyme or reason. They're like, she goes, well, that doesn't sound right. When I had all these questions about, well, how can that be when I shipped it? Like, I mean, you guys, I shipped stuff the first and second week of December. Like I said, I've since shipped other stuff, but not the 12 days of Christmas. It was, you know, just friend mail. I've been doing bits at a time. So as far as I know, everything is coming. I am watching the tracking uh, list. Um, the only thing is, is I can see the tracking stuff, like that you're getting packages, but I don't know if they were 12 days of Christmas or if they were friend mail. Um, so um, all I can say is I've been told that as long as it says it's moving through the network, that it is coming to you. <laughs> But like I said, if I don't see any updates on the ones I've already checked, I've got a list made um, this week. If I don't see any updates by like next week on my days off, I may just ship out some other stuff because I'm concerned that they've lost it. So um, that's where we're at with that. Again, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email me, comment. Totally fine with that. But um, packages are coming your, your guys' way. I promise you. <laughs> They're coming. And um, I think that is it for today. I Like I said, I've already got dinner in the crock pot. I do have to make a couple sides later um, for that. And other than that, I'm going to be painting tonight. That is my goal. I'm going to paint some more, see how far I get. So if I get done tonight, I will do this Timu haul tomorrow. But if not, this Timu haul will have to wait till next week. So that's it for tonight, you guys. I hope you guys are blessed. I hope that your week is going well. Like I said, I'm off today. I'm excited. I was off yesterday. Today's Wednesday, so I'm off tomorrow. And that's going to be my last day to try to get all the rest of this painting done in this one room. So that is my goal. <laughs> I've got to stick to it and not go anywhere. So um, that is the plan for tomorrow. But like I said, I will see you guys next week. And um, I hope you guys are having a blessed week. See you soon. Bye.